Good morning, hot dogs. It's finally Tuesday. And wait, what do you have planned for today? I'm going to Indianapolis for DECA. I'm going to IUPUI to see Ivan. Just kidding, Ivan. Hope you're having the time of your life at Ooey Booey. DECA, final exams, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good luck to Frankfurt DECA students that will be testing in their DECA district competitive events today and tomorrow. A huge reminder that there's a handful of clubs meeting up tomorrow. Be sure to check your email for Mrs. Everett. Now, let's send it to weather and sports. What's up, dog? Happy Tuesday. My favorite day of the week. Today for sports, we have wrestling results, basketball, and more. Yesterday, I mentioned Osui Bautista and Elijah Anthony went 5-0. and I forgot to say that Dana Garcia also went 5-0. and Congratulations to those three. The wrestling team will be back in action this Thursday, December 9th, here at home, hosting Delphi. The meet will begin at 6. Next up, the freshman boys basketball team played Clinton Central at home last night. Lalo Castillo and Jordan Goodnight led a strong defensive effort in a 45-27 win over the Bulldogs. Castillo had several steals and deflections while leading the team in scoring with 13 points. Goodnight added 12 points to go along with block shots on the defensive end. Phoenix Martinez Dickerson did a great job being at the rim on defense. Every player contributed in a positive way. The freshmen will be back in action Wednesday night on the road to face Harrison. The varsity boys basketball team will be on the road this Friday, December 10th to face the Tri-West Bruins. Make sure to stay tuned later on this week for a ticket information. The girls basketball team will be traveling to Faith Christian today to face the Eagles. The game will start with a JV tip-off at 6 in a varsity follow. Let's wish the Lady Dogs luck. Last but not least, the swim team will be on the road later tonight, traveling to Southmont to face the Mounties. The meet will begin at 6. That's all for Sports Dogs. Make sure you have a flashy Tuesday. Now let's send it to David. Thank you, Nelson. I think it's safe to say that it was very, very, very cold this morning. It feels like it's actually December. And another big thing you can expect today is some snow. Around one and a half inches of snow later today or tonight. It's only a chance, but it's still snow, and it's still pretty exciting to report anything snow-related this December. The high for today is going to be 26 degrees, and the low is going to be 14 degrees. So bundle up, hot dogs, especially your very select few that wear shorts today. That's it for the weather. Now back to your host. Thank you, Nelson David. Wait, hold up. I'm receiving breaking news. Last week, I was able to catch up with Mrs. Long and Mr. Niehaus, about the end of the semesters. Christmas break is less than two weeks away, which means we have semester files, not trimester, semester files. This is the first time for us that we will have semesters. Christmas break will not start this week or next week. I caught up with Mrs. Long on why the next couple weeks is important. Passing classes for semester is an 18 week investment. We are looking at students earning seven credits per semester. It's really important that we stay on track in order to graduate. Remember that you need 42 credits to graduate and each and every one of them is very important. Final exams count for 20% of your final semester grade, so it's really important that you're here for those days, that you're on time, and that you do your very best so that you can earn all of your credits. Thank you, Mrs. Long. Athletes, not only are your credits in jeopardy, but your eligibility. I call up with Mr. Niehaus. Well, we're getting into the end of the semester, and with the IHSA requirements for grade certification, we have to make sure that every, every athlete is passing five classes to be eligible for second semester. Well, if they're not passing five classes at the end of the semester, 
then come January when we do grade certification, which is required by all schools in the state of Indiana, we have to suspend athletes. Therefore, they wouldn't be eligible until after the third nine weeks would be would be would finish. If they didn't weren't eligible at the end of the sec first semester, then no athlete would be eligible for the rest of the winter season. They would be eligible if they passed after the third tri the third nine weeks to play in spring sports, but the third nine weeks grading period would end before the end of the winter season. Hey, hot dogs, let's work hard the next couple weeks. Elijah Anthony, Hot Dog Network. There we go. Thanks, Mr. Niaus and Mrs. Long. So inspirational. For lunch today, lines one and two, we'll be having big day stuffers, and for lines three and four, chicken fajitas. A happy birthday goes out to Elijah Martin and Edith Regalado Lopez. That's all for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for more notifications. Have a terrific Tuesday.